Hello everyone and thank you for watching my channel. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Charlie Ruggles. Come to the barrel of fun. Come, let's put old Groom on the run. Come, let with old Charlie Ruggles. Drop all your worries and troubles. Come to the barrel of fun. Come to the barrel of fun. Welcome to another gala evening with Benny Rubin, Verna Felton, Hanley Stafford, Sarah Berner, Jerry Hausner, Harry Lang, Viola Vaughn, Linda Ware and the Sportsman, and Dave Rose and his orchestra. Tonight, the Barrel of Fun comes to you from Marchfield, Riverside, California, home of one of the largest air bases where 5,500 officers and enlisted men keep them flying for America's all-out defense. We open our program, The Sportsman, accompanied by Dave Rose and his orchestra, singing So Sweet. <laughs> So charming, it's really most alarming the way that I'm falling for you. So sweet, so gentle, and oh so sentimental, no wonder I feel like I do. I love the way you talk, adore the way you walk. What's more, you're my ideal, and I can't believe you're real. If you will have me, you'll make my life complete. I love you cause you're so darn sweet. set up a few feet from the huge transport plane which has carried the cast of the Barrel of Fun from Hollywood to Marchfield, where the entire body of enlisted men is on hand to greet him, we present your favorite star of stage, screen, and radio, that gallant, dashing, devil-may-care, all-around soldier of fortune, Charlie Ruggles! Well, well, at ease, man, at ease. <laughs> oh, my, I said that just like an officer, didn't I? Well, as a matter of fact, I could have been an officer. Yes, sir. When I was in the Army, I was offered a commission. But I don't know, I preferred a straight salary. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I got a medal one time for capturing a man with one hand. I really did, capturing a man with one hand. Of course, if he'd had another hand, he'd probably have captured me. <clears throat> But I come naturally by army tactics, you know, because uh, I come of a very military family. My great-grandfather fought with Farragut, and my grandfather fought with Grant, and my father fought with Pershing. <laughs> I don't know, they just couldn't seem to get along with anybody. I don't know. <laughs> but seriously speaking, we of the Barrel of Fun are honestly thrilled to be here and at this great army camp. And we want you all to have a good time, and we'll see you later when we put on our show. And in the meantime, uh, keep them flying. <clears throat> Okay, okay, you kids. Uh, you're on your own now. Have a good time, won't you? And be back here by showtime. All right, so long. Oh, Charles, wasn't it wonderful of all these soldier boys to come out and meet us at the plane? Well, that's just military courtesy, that's all, Daffy. After all, you know, I'm an old flyer myself. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Feathers Ruggles, they used to call me. <laughs> Why, Charles, were you in the Army? Well, I certainly was. I was even in the Foreign Legion at really? one time. Yes, indeed. I joined the Legion to forget. Uh, what did you want to forget? I don't know. I forgot. I... <laughs> but I'll never forget. I'll never forget the time we had to put down a native uprising. A native uprising? Yeah, yeah. Some trader had been feeding them yeast. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it was during the, it was during the time that I was ordered on a special mission, you see, Davy? Mm-hmm. And I was making my way through the jungles when suddenly I was attacked by a python. A python? Yeah, I knew it was a python by its rattle. Charles, a python doesn't have a rattle. Yeah, well, this was a baby python, you see. <laughs> and then, then suddenly, Davy, without That's warning, it Charles. snarled at me. Charlie Ruggles? What? Pythons don't snarl. They hiss. According to every book on the subject. Oh, is that so? According yes. to every book. Well, this python couldn't read, you see, Davy, after it. <laughs> well, anyway, right at that moment, a native jumped out from behind me with a spear. What did you do? Well, frankly, I ran. You mean you didn't even try to save your face? Yeah, now listen, Davy. When anyone comes behind me with a spear, I don't worry about my face. <laughs> Charles, in your experience as a soldier of fortune, did you ever come in contact with a Colonel Weir? A Colonel Weir? Yes. Do I know Colonel Weir? Yes. Oh, well, I should say I do. I saved his life once in the Argonne. You did? Well, I certainly did. He was wounded, and I carried him to a field hospital. Yes. We were almost there when one of the enemy approached me. He put his rifle up against my chest, and he fired. Now, just a minute, Charles. If your story is true, the bullet would have gone right through your heart and killed you. Yeah, I know, Davy, but I was so scared my heart was in my mouth at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but Charles, now, yeah. you you do know Colonel Weir, don't Why, you? Why, certainly I know Colonel Weir. He and I are just like that. Well, yeah, yeah he's on top, of course. <laughs> Charles, I'm so glad because I want to meet him. Oh, is that so? Yes. Well, I'd like nothing better for the, for to have you meet him. Yes, yes, indeed. But right now, he's stationed at the Panama Canal. <laughs> oh, no, he's not, Charles. He's the commanding officer right here at March Field. Yeah, that's what I said. He's the commanding... He, he, what? <laughs> No, no. Uh, well, I'll see you later, Davy. I, <laughs> I've got some ironing to do. I'll see you later. Charles. Charles, you come out from behind that refuge. No, I, I don't want to. I like it over here. I like it here. I want to meet Colonel Weir, and I want to meet him now. Yeah, now? Yes. Uh, There's his office right across the street. Yeah. Now, let's go. But, Davy, don't you think we could put this thing off a little later? Hello, I, uh, Mr. Ruggles. Well, what's that? Well, my goodness sake, it's Gladys Gush the Glendale Thrush. Well, well, well. <laughs> Well, Miss Gush, what are you doing here at Marshfield? Oh, I just came down to see the soldiers. You know, I love soldiers, don't you? I do, but I love sailors, too, and even Marines. And I love the Coast Guard, too. You know, yeah. soldiers are clear cute, don't you think so? Yeah. I mean, after all. Yeah, yes, I think soldiers are very cute, to say the least. Yes, I do. <laughs> I love generals. They're so stalwart and plump, you know. <laughs> yeah. But then I love majors because they're so masterful. Yeah, I think, yes. They're majors have yeah, many brave hearts are asleep in the deep, don't you think? <laughs> Oh, but captains are nice. Captains are handsome, don't you think so? I mean, after all, but then yeah. again, the lieutenants are so well-dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. breathe there a soul with men so dead. I don't know. Don't you think so? I just love generals and majors and captains and lieutenants, but I love the privates best of all because yeah. they do all the work. Don't yeah. you think so? Yeah. I mean, after all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, he's, if you'll excuse me now, Miss Gush, I've got to see a man about a, a fatigue uniform. Will you excuse me, please? <laughs> You're terrible. No, no, you'll never run down. <clears throat> you know, I've been trying everything to build myself up, but no. nothing seems to help. No. Isn't that awful? I mean, after all. Yeah, I don't know. well, why don't you try some vitamin B19? <clears throat> <laughs> well, does it come in a powder or a pill? Well, either one. Won't you take a powder, my little pill? <clears throat> oh, Mr. Ruggles, I just love your jokes. Yeah. They remind me of my uncle. Uh. You know, he's almost 90 years old, too. <clears throat> Well, I should be going now, don't you think so? I yeah. mean, after all, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll go with you. Charles, you'll do nothing of the kind. You're taking me to Colonel Weir. No, no, but I can't do that now, Davy. This is the Colonel's conference day, and I'll, I'll have him come down to the barrel of fun, and you can meet him there. See? Now you listen to me, Charlie Ruggles. I have stood for your tall stories and exaggerations long enough. This time you're going to deliver or else. Now, I'm going to find my nieces, and if you don't introduce me to the colonel sometime today, I'm going to break every bone of your body. I'll be around if you want me. I don't know whether to call her Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. I don't know it. Hey, 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 Art Gilmore, what's that going on over there? Why, uh, we're having a jam session for some of the boys. Come on in, Charlie. Linda Ware and the sportsmen are about to sing Daddy. Oh, yeah? the best for me. Hey, Daddy G, won't I look swell in sables, clothes with Paris labels, Daddy, you ought to get the best for me. 
Now here's an amazing revelation With a bit of stimulation I'd be a great sensation I'd be your inspiration, Daddy I want a brand new car Champagne, caviar, Daddy You ought to get the best for me She wants a diamond ring, bracelets, everything, Daddy. You want to get the best for her. Hey, Daddy, she wants you to swell in sables, clothes with Paris labels, Daddy. You want to get the very best for her. Now, here's an amazing revelation with a bit of stimulation. I'd be a great sensation. I'd be your inspiration, Daddy. I want a brand new car, champagne, caviar, Daddy. You ought to get the best for me. Well, here's the Colonel's office. Go ahead, knock. Uh, 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 pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Is, uh, uh, is Colonel Weir in? In, in, Colonel Weir, 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 Weir. Oh, yes, he's in, 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 in. Oh, yes, the Colonel's in, he's in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I, uh, I, uh, I think the Colonel's in, Dabby, yes. I, well, would it be possible to see Colonel Weir? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the Colonel's busy, 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 busy. Oh, very busy, very, 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 very busy, 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 busy. Yeah, well, the colonel's busy, you see, Oh, Gabby. very busy. Yeah. Busy, busy. Uh-huh. Well, Gabby, it looks as if the colonel's busy. <laughs> Let's go, shall we? No, Charles. The colonel can't be too busy for an old friend. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Sorry, sorry. So sorry. But the colonel can't see anyone at all. Anyone at all. 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 Uh, pardon me, sir. Yeah. Pardon me. Yes? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. For the last time, no. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes, of course, of course, of course. Now, if it were any other day, any other day, just any other day, it would be all right. It would be all right, but he's too busy. Busy, 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 busy. <laughs> yeah, he's busy, he's busy, he's busy, he's busy. You got me doing it now. Busy. Well, then, let's all for the best, because I've, I've got to go and see about our show anyhow, so oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's good, good. Now, if there's anything at all that I can do, anything at all, at all, at all, just anything at all, let me know, let me know, let yeah. me know. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, there's one thing you can do for me. Oh, really, 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 really? What is it, what is it, what? Put a silencer on your repeater. <laughs> come on, Dabby, will you, come on. Now, you see how it is, Dabby? The colonel is busy, 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 uh, uh, busy. Hey! Yardbird Ruggles! Well, well, what do you know? It's Sergeant Scrunch, my old top kick. Well. Well, 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 Ruggles. Why ain't you in Fort Knox with the all the other gold bricks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good old Sergeant Scrunch, huh? Did, uh, did you know Mr. Ruggles of the Army, Sergeant? Ah, oh, so it's Mr. Ruggles now, eh? Yes. We used to call him Alphabet Ruggles. That was because he was always A-W-O-L. <laughs> and he usually wound up in the B-R-I-G. Do you get it, Queenie? Queenie? Well, please. But didn't Charles once put a thousand men out of action? Yeah, that's right. That's when he was the assistant cook. <laughs> Do you get it, Queenie? <laughs> hey, what are you doing now, Ruggles? Well, I'm, uh, I'm managing the Barrel of Fun Cafe. Oh, still peeling potatoes, eh? <laughs> well, well, Sarge, you are, so you're still in the Army. Yeah, but I'll have to give it up soon. It's me ticker. The doc says if I don't take things easy, I'm liable to have trouble with me heart. Well, no, what do you know? And I never dreamed you had a heart. Well, what do you think of that? <laughs> Well, Gabby, you two top sergeant have so much in common that I'll leave you together for a while. What do you say? I'll see you later, huh? Charles, don't forget I expect you to introduce me to the colonel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness, if she doesn't get to meet the colonel personally, I'll probably, she'll probably make it so hot for me, I'll be able to light a cigarette from my hangnail. Hi, y'all, Mr. Ruggles. 
Well, what do you know if it isn't the twin bombers from Birmingham, Lindy Lou and Cindy Lou? Well, are you all having a good time, you all? We all are having fun. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I suppose you've already captured the heart of some lieutenant. We all made a conquest, Mr. Ruggles, but it's not a lieutenant. Oh? Oh, well, who all did you blitzkrieg? Colonel Weir. Oh, well, that's nice. (laughs) That's nice, yeah. What'd you say? Did you, would you say Colonel Weir? We all didn't say nothing else but Mr. Ruggles. You mean to say you saw Colonel Weir this afternoon? That's right. He always showing us army maneuvers. Yeah, oh, army maneuvers. <laughs> oh, army, army maneuvers. Oh, I see. Mm. Sure enough, Colonel Weir is just a sugar-coated honey lamb. He's from Dixie, too. Yeah, well, now look. Look, Lindy and Cindy. Do you think you can get me in to see the Colonel? Bless your little old heart. Sure we can. Come on, Mr. Ruggles. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, y'all, Colonel Hunter. Well, if it isn't my little mint juleps. (laughs) Tell me, who's that seedy-looking civilian you got with you? (laughs) This is Mr. Ruggles. Yeah, well... (laughs) Well, (laughs) ha, 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 ha. Well, how do you how do you do, Colonel Weir? It's certainly a pleasure. Ruggles? Ruggles? That's a familiar name. Yes, yes. Well, you've probably seen me in the movies, huh? No, I never go to the movies. You don't go to the movies? Why, Colonel, you haven't lived yet. <laughs> Possibly not. What did you say your name was again? Uh, uh Ruggles. Ruggles? Yeah. Attached to 41st Division, 3rd Regiment in 1918? Yeah, that's right. Weren't you the captain's orderly, Company C? Well, yes, I was. Well, you remember me, don't you? Well, yeah. Well, good old Captain Weir. Well... Colonel Weir now. Colonel Weir. Well, <laughs> what do you know a long time no see? Uh, what did you do with those medals? What medals? The ones you borrowed from me before the armistice and forgot to return. <laughs> Well, uh, well, Colonel, you see, it was like this. I'm an easy-going man, Ruggles, and I never hold a grudge. Mm. But if those medals aren't returned in six hours, Mm. the brig will be your post office address for the rest of your life. And now, get out! Yes, yes, Colonel. Oh, feet keep them flying. And now, boys, Linda Ware and the sportsman will sing for you, Billy Boy. Billy boy, Billy boy, my charming Bill, Billy boy. Oh, where have you been, Billy boy, Billy boy? Oh, where have you been, charming Billy? I have been to seek a wife. How I want to find a wife. If I don't, I will soon be in the army. Oh, we hope he will not be in the army. Billy boy, Billy boy, my charming Bill, Billy the boy. Did she ask you in, Billy boy, Billy the boy? Did she ask you in, charming Bill, 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 Billy? Yes, she asked me to come in with a dimple in her chin. She's a young thing and cannot leave her mother. Did she set for you a chair? Billy boy, my charming Billy boy. Did she set for you a chair? Charming Billy. Charming Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, I'll say she did, yes, sir. And you know what she's got? Oh, gosh, ringlets in her hair. <laughs> she's a young thing and cannot leave her mother. Billy boy, Billy boy, my charming Bill, Billy the boy. Can she bake a cherry pie? No, no, uh-uh. uh-uh. No, she can't bake a cherry pie. No, no, uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. No, what about huckleberry? Yeah, yeah. Gooseberry? Yeah, yeah. Crab apple? Oh, yeah. Banana nut? Yeah, yeah. Strawberry, lemon, coconut cream, mint, splints, and special ice cream? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Raspberry, rhubarb, blueberry, chocolate, deep dish, peas. Oh, it's a sad tale. She cannot bake a cherry Thank you. 
will present a playlet especially written for the occasion by our own Charlie Ruggles, entitled Life in the Army, or I Didn't Raise My Son to Be a Sailor. As the curtain rises, our scene is the suite, shared by Private Ruggles and Private Clabber at Camp Rest Haven. Music, Dave. <laughs> Come in, come in. Oh, I, uh, I beg your pardon, sir. They uh, told me to report here, but uh, I guess there must be some mistake. Oh, huh? oh, you must be Private Smith. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, well, no, there's no mistake at all. Just a minute, and I'll call the houseboy. Oh, Jeeves. Uh, yes, Jeeves. my lord. Mm, uh, take Private Smith's luggage, will you, and lay out his linen? Yes, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Smith, I'm Private Ruggles, and this is Private Clabber. How do you do, uh, come in, come in. I I beg your pardon, gentlemen, but... Uh... Oh, oh, hello, Cap. Hello, Captain. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, Captain. Just sit over there in the corner a minute, will you please? <laughs> uh, now, uh, Private Smith, my good fellow, is there any advice I can give you? <coughs> uh, uh, well, pardon me again, but uh, I haven't met the private yet. Oh, that's right, you haven't. Uh, Smith, meet uh, Captain... Uh, Captain... Uh, what was your name again, Captain? I've forgotten the name. Hemingway. Oh, yes, Hemingway. Yes. Captain uh, Private Smith, Captain Hemingway. How do you do? How do you do? How do you oh, do? oh, incidentally, I, I dropped in because I was wondering if you boys uh, wouldn't mind coming out to drill this afternoon. <laughs> well, uh, well, no, no, I don't think so. No. I, I, it's a nice day. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, how about... Tomorrow? No, 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 no. Captain, no. No, it's out of the question tomorrow. You see, Clabber is having his recital tomorrow. He oh, can't go. No. Well, how about later in the week? Then? No, no, Cap. I tell you, you give us a call in a few days and we'll let you know. That's a good call. <laughs> now, run along. Run along, will you, my good captain? We've got to dress for dinner. Thank no, you. No, all right. <laughs> Goodbye. You know, that cap, you know, Clabber, that captain is getting to be a nuisance. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, I wonder what we're having for dinner. Oh, hello? Hello, give me the chef, will you, please? Hello, Armand, the chef? Uh, what's cooking tonight, Armand? What's that? Crepe Suzette and Squab a la Maryland? Now, wait a minute. We had that last week. You forget, Armand, that you're not at the Ritz-Waldorf any. You're in the army now, you know. No, you've got to use your imagination. Well, all right. Send up some tea and crumpets. Yes, yes. It's almost time for our siesta anyway, so it's all right. Yeah, come in. Come in again. Come in. Oh, hiya, General. Well, boys, how are you, General? today, you what? young rascals? <laughs> <laughs> Would you ask us, General, if we had any complaints? If you have any complaints. Well, uh, I wish you'd talk to Armand, really. I think Armand is in a rut. Uh, what's he been up to? Uh, crepe Suzette's again. Oh, not again. Mm. Well, I'll certainly give him a tongue lashing. And another thing, the captain's been bothering us, too, uh, General. Drills, drills, drills. If it was up to him, we'd drill twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, for two cents, I'd ride home to my folks and tell them. Now, now, wait a minute, boys. Let's not be too hasty. And another thing's wrong around here's the beds. They're very uncomfortable. I've been having nightmares. Mm. Well, after all, you will eat lobster before you go to bed. No, no, Clabber's right. It's the beds, General. But our beds have inner spring, sweet dream, soft slumber mattresses. <laughs> Why, here, look at the label. All right, well, okay, General, we'll let that go. We won't worry about it. But there's one thing more. Can't you do something about Betty Grable and Lana Turner coming down to camp so much? Yeah. Judge said it's getting monotonous. Why can't we have Gene Autry for a change? <laughs> yes, and why can't we have his horse? Anything just for a change. Well, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. I hope everything else is satisfactory. Well, it's all right, but don't forget that Private Smith here will need some uniforms. Now, let's see. He'll need a dress uniform and a semi-formal uniform. Yeah, it's some informal gadabouts. Informal well, gadabouts. I'll right. see to it. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, General. Goodbye. Goodbye, General. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, fellas, but did I hear you say that all the... Beautiful movie starlets visit the camp? Yeah, but we've got just a snappy-looking hostesses working right here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, say, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's an idea. Let's have a party for Smith, shall a we? A party for me? Where? We're right here, right here. Wait really? a minute. <clears throat> Hello? USO? Send over 50 hostesses right away, will you please? <laughs> uh, 
yes, yes, yes. What is it? Uh, can I come in? It, oh, it was you, Sergeant. <laughs> well, what do you want? Well, I was just passing by, and I hear you fellas were having a party, and... Well, can I come? No, no, no Sergeant. Sergeant. No, no Sergeant. <laughs> now, look, hey. Now, wait a minute, fellas. No, no, you heard Clabber there, Sergeant. Don't argue with him. You know how easy he is to upset. Well, why can't I come? Don't I tuck you fellas in at night? Yeah. Don't I give you tips on the races? Yeah, that's right. And when you asked me to make some fudge for you, did I say no? No, but the thing is, if we invite you, all the other sergeants will want to come too. No, you can't come. Please. No, sergeant, I'm sorry. No, Please. no. No, no, go on, get out now. Go on, get out, get out. That's it. All right, come in, come in, come in, come in. Go on, get out, get out, go on, get out, get out. Get come out. on, Ruggles! You gotta get out of that bed! Yeah, go on, get out of bed, 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 what bed, what bed, what? Huh? Huh? Wake up! You're in the army now! Yes. Oh, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, and it was such a beautiful dream, too. <laughs> So long, I will. Well, goodbye, you handsome man in uniform. I love uniforms, but after all, there's no place like home. Don't you think so? I mean, after all. Mm -hmm. uh, goodbye, Miss Gush. It's been lovely. Simply, simply lovely. Now, if there's anything I can do, anything at all that I can do, I don't... We all would like to see more army maneuvers, Mr. Rudd. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet you would. I'll bet you would. Look, Charles, here comes Colonel Weir. Yeah, well, goodbye, Colonel. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come and see us again, won't you? Yes, I will, Colonel. And don't forget to bring those medals. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, good night, folks. <laughs> Exclusively for the entertainment of the military personnel of Marchfield, California, and does not constitute or imply an endorsement by the War Department of the product advertised. Heard on tonight's show were Benny Rubin, Verna Felton, Jerry Hausner, Sarah Berner, Hanley Stafford, Harry Lang, Linda Ware, and the Sportsman. Music under the direction of Dave Rose. This is Art Gilmore inviting you to join us again next week for another Barrel of Fun. <laughs> <laughs> 